you so much. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming out to, to hear about, well, VR, but also fashion and VR. Um, I'm Sydney Hurst, and I write the blog, Don't Mock the Clothes. Um, so why am I here? Because fashion and VR, some people think they don't mix. Um, I worked for Starbucks for eight and a half years. I have a background in lean thinking. So it, within our stores, we implemented signal-based communications and we eliminated waste in our stores. And then eventually I worked for research and development where I optimized beverage ingredients. But I realized that I wasn't passionate about coffee, but I was passionate about fashion and technology. So I made the decision to go back to school and earn my BFA in fashion design. I'm now a full-time fashion blogger, and I focus on personal style, empowering women in every career field, and promoting the Pacific Northwest as a fashion and tech hub. Something I noticed about blogs, though, is that, including my own, is that they're lacking engagement. This one? Perfect. So when I was thinking about engagement, uh, I remembered a story about a woman I met. Her name was Shreya. I was shopping in Sephora and she approached me and she started asking me about products that I used. And she kept using the phrase, I need to look polished. And eventually she apologized. She said, I'm sorry I'm asking so many questions, but I work for a major tech corporation. My physical appearance is consistently judged because, and my work is never taken seriously. And I thought it was heartbreaking because this woman had no other avenue to ask for advice, and she was confiding in a complete stranger. And because of that, I've thought about how I could get engagement within my blog, which is virtual reality. I've used systems like Skype or Google Hangouts and things like that. Those are all two-dimensional, flat experiences. There's zero engagement. Social media isn't designed to have an open dialogue. It's about instant gratification. It's about the one like, it's about the one comment. Virtual reality is 100% engaging. We've seen successful applications of virtual reality in fashion before. In 2013, Diane von Furstenberg introduced Google Glasses to her runway. She had every single one of her models wearing those glasses so you could see what it was like to walk the catwalk. And it was huge for her brand. She was in a slump, and it was, people still talk about this show to this day. It was a monumental moment for her. Yes, I know the Google Glasses are really no longer relevant, but it was a, it was a very big deal. Moschino applied their branding to Google Cardboard and they gave it out to 50 viewers, just 50, so that they, so they still embodied the intimacy and the exclusivity of seeing their show. Dior designed their own HMD that's fully immersive with built-in headphones. And while all of these are great examples, they still are lacking engagement. They're merely a sensory experience. What's needed is immersive technology. This is actually a screenshot of me having a conversation with two people from different parts of this world. And we're talking about a fashion collection. I, real, I realized that I, when I wanted to do something like this, I needed it to be collaborative. I needed it to be immersive. I also needed it to be private, without distractions, and multi-purpose. I used a lot of tools like big room, and things like that. I ended up using Roomy, though. I have had quite a few fashion mishaps. Uh, I've had a lot of learning opportunities and epiphanies, one of which is do not leave your front door wearing slippers, wearing what looks like a potato sack, and having a beer in your hand. Another one is that automatically associating gaming with VR is a mistake, when in fact the VR technology has, potentials that, has a potential that we don't even understand yet. The best practices that I implement in my day to day would actually be lean thinking, especially the skills component. I ask myself on a daily basis, are my skills being appropriately applied? Are the skills of those around me and the technologies that I use appropriately applied? 
understand that success can be found in different fields because if you're looking for success strictly within your field, it's going to be very limiting. Disruption is universal. Regardless of what the work looks like, it is the same in every type of career. Where I'm headed to next is I am actually developing a virtual reality environment that's very collaborative where people are invited to join and they can ask about fashion. They can ask about, they can ask the very common question of, is this outfit office appropriate? It's gonna be a space where we can talk about current collections, but it's also gonna be a place where they can shop and they can ask advice of other followers. My ask of the virtual reality community is this. Understand that VR technology is so new still, and we have no idea what the potential is. So limiting it to just gaming would be doing it a disservice. Using technology should be just as easy as having a cup of coffee with a friend. Thank you. Questions? Yes. I'm sorry? So the the virtual reality space itself is still in construction. So that that's unknown right now, unfortunately. Oh excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Absolutely, no, great question. So what I'm doing is my uh, website is currently under construction. And so initially it's going to be uh, providing a link that they can click on to join the conversation and then uh, promoting through social media initially because social media does have a huge bearing on fashion. Yes? Planning to monetize on it? So when I was talking about no distractions, there are some other uh, collaborate online or virtual reality collaborative spaces where you hear ping pong tables behind you. And that's what I'm talking about when I say distractions. When it comes to monetizing, it can be uh, sponsors. So it can be just various posters with, with company logos or things like that. Yes. Ideally, because it's supposed to be multi-platform, that shouldn't matter. Any more questions? Yes. Is that where you think Debbie wants to go when she grows up with all of these movies to where it's fashion and get to be very close and up close to the movies and kind of like Debbie and get into your activity? Would that be a possible model that they could pursue? That's another really good question. Not initially, because what's different about, because everyone thinks that here, because we're in the Pacific Northwest, all we wear is flannel and rain boots. And so, so that's, that's what I'm trying to, to kind of, I mean, I'm obviously not alone in this battle, but um, I'm starting it alone as a fashion blogger and just saying, look, not all of us wear outerwear 24-7. Thank you. <laughs>